asking for this. So you can buy this. How'd you know? I know, because I'm your friend. And I'm a bitch. Come on. I bought it for you. Thanks. So, you uh, want to go shoplift CDs? Kidding. Seriously, I'll buy you one. Sort of a sorry you were shot and I'm an insensitive, selfish hag kind of gift. Well, you're not a hag. Serial numbers? Smooth as a baby's bottom, baby. You wish. Ready to go, Victor? So is this a joke, Harper? What? See that? No firing pins. See that? These are worthless. I'm gonna go see the man and get you your firing pins. No firing pins? We knew you wanted his connection, so we didn't make the bust. He's gotta be on his way to his supplier right now. I know exactly where that'll be. You two get over to the Paladin factory in case I'm wrong. Run away. Dispatch, this is Lieutenant Palermo. I'm gonna message you to Sergeant Calloway. Roger, 181. Anthony Palermo called. He said it's urgent. Somebody named Harper is on his way over here. Is something wrong, TC? No, uh, everything's fine. Hold on, people. Mrs. Corsini will be back on Monday. So I want to take this moment to thank you all very much for an enjoyable week and to wish you all the best in your studies. Mr. Cavanaugh, can I talk to you a moment? I'm sorry, I was late, Mr. Nelson. I had run an errand for my father. Delivering stolen handguns? I'm a police officer, Kyle. Your friend Harper's on his way here. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I realize this is a shock, but I want you to listen carefully. There's still time to do this voluntarily and save yourself a whole lot of trouble down the street. Am I under arrest? Not at the moment. Pending investigation, but I am placing you into protective custody. So I don't need that. Harper tried to sell those guns to a couple of other officers. Now he's angry, Kyle, and he's coming for you.
shoot me, man. Monsters are smarter than lawyers. They lie better than perps in the paperwork. Yes, it was much worse. Well, you got all weekend to recover. Mm. Maybe I can help you with that. Mm. Is this another one of your schoolgirl fantasies? <laughs> you think you know everything. I bet he was some big stud who could keep all the wild animals away from the campfire while teaching you something sensitive like renaissance poetry. I used to love watching him and his fiance at the football games. The way he treated her, respected her as an equal, cared about her more than he did himself. I liked the way he loved her. You hope to find a guy like that someday? I hope to keep him. a lot of thinking about it, and I don't want to go to a private school. I'd miss my friends too much. Well, then we'll consider the subject closed. Thanks for being there for me, Dad. I'm just sorry you had to grow up so fast, honey. I wish you were still a little girl who has no idea how ugly the world can be. Yeah. Me too. Listen, Jess, I want to apologize for crapping your style at school last week. I know you get a little embarrassed when your old man shows up in his uniform. Come on, Dad. I've never been more proud of you in my whole life. 